Jingle fence, jingle fence, jingle fence rock. Okay, maybe not. Uh, it's Christmas time in um, Animal Crossing place land. Whatever this place is called. Um, but yeah, there is Christmas stuff. And you'll find it in... There's no update. Um, I was really surprised to see that. You'll just uh, open your timed goals today, and there's a bunch of event challenges, and you can get Christmas candies now. And, um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to craft, so let's take a quick look. I have most of the outfits. I'm still missing the shirt, unfortunately, and the skirt. But there's five total items. There's these three here I have, uh, plus a skirt and a short shirt, of course. I think I took off the hat. You get the hat for free. The other four are given for crafting these items you see here. There are 11, if I recall correctly, yeah, 11 um, things you can craft. Um, there's this new crafting material, um, just candy canes that you use to make the new stuff. And um, it's pretty simple how it all works. You don't, I updated my guide with all the information I could find. It, um, there's nothing really too fancy. Um, what you'll see is there's new timed goals and as usual you want to kind of go through the goals first um, Basically, it makes you it wants you to craft one of every item which is you know expected um, Complete requests for villagers and this is a good way to get a starting amount of uh, the candies you need 1110 um, Candy canes total which is a fair amount, but you get 280 from completing the uh, requests so that gives you a little bit over one-fourth of the way there. And um, maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. Close. Either way. But yeah, these... The, it's mostly in these last two. These last two items cost half of the total amount of candy canes. The rest of these are pretty reasonably priced. I mean, the 100 ones, not so much. But, like, these ones, very cheap. This is a very big cake, by the way. Like, I... It said big festive cake, but I did not expect, like, larger than a human-sized cake. I didn't even have enough room to like store it in here properly, but yeah. Um, so this event is going on through, uh, I think it says, thanks for stepping over my phone, Parker. Um, it says in the notices, I, there was no notification of this either. Like it just happened. I was expecting a push notification or an app update, but no. Um, but it'll, it'll show you the exact dates in here. If it ever loads, please load. Okay, maybe it won't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a Google Play bonus thing, too. If you're playing on Android, you get a hat and two shirts that are kind of Google Play colored. Um, I'm wearing one right now, actually, so you might have seen that. Um, but yeah, the event starts, well, obviously now, and um, it ends on, well, it ends on Christmas at midnight, or just before midnight, rather. So... Yeah, you get candy canes uh, by get out of that. You make get candy canes in a few ways. You can go to Shovel Strike Quarry, which is the fastest way to get them if it has them. Um, it cycles through as a random crafting material. I was lucky enough to get into Shovel Strike Quarry for some candy canes, and it was not the gold sparkle, but I managed to get a pretty good drop. I got 32. I'm guessing the maximum you can get is maybe around 40 if you're extremely lucky. So you get a lot of candy canes. Like you get more candy canes than you would get other materials. So if you want the ho the um, the holiday stuff, I strongly recommend uh, saving your struggle site quarry access for the uh, candy cane situation. Um, you can also do the timed goals, obviously, um, and you can also just do regular requests. Um, requests give they have a small. Well, not a small, but they have a random chance to give a small amount of candy canes. I would say maybe one third to half of requests that I've done have dropped candy canes uh, between one to five each. So it's a little bit slow going as far as the 300 ones are concerned, but um, you get them at an okay pace. Like I said, Shovel Strike Quarry is probably your fastest way other than doing the timed goals. So pretty much all there is to know is Shovel Strike Quarry, go there before the candy canes, do your timed goals, and do lots and lots of requests. Uh, requests are kind of how the game progresses anyway, so you'll want to do that anyway. But um, if you needed some excuse to play video games more, there you go, I guess. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure how difficult I would say this is. So far I've gotten, I think I'm like a little bit less than a third of the way through and I started, you know, today because it started today. So it doesn't seem too bad so far, but obviously I'm not to the most expensive ones. If you wanted to make a bunch of snowmen, I have bad news for you because that's going to be very expensive. But um, yeah, to make them, they're just in this special section of the crafting area. Uh, there's nothing really too fancy, like, it's not like, there's not, um, the snowmen that you build, it's not even snowing outside, it's still fall in-game. I assume that will end soonish. I forget when the exact cutoffs for seasons are in, uh, Animal Crossing. But it's still very much fall outside. And I forgot, I never got to show you my, uh, my camper in full. I just got the full-size camper, uh, just today, actually. I don't know what to do with my upstairs yet. I, I want to do the sleek and modern things. But I don't have a sleeker modern bed, or rather, there's not a sleeker modern bed in the game. So, I need something, I need a bed that will inevitably clash, unfortunately. So hopefully they fill in those sets soon. But yeah, that's kind of it. Um, it might be a little bit underwhelming compared to, you know, having some special NPCs. Um, and, you know, some special gameplay element, but... Uh, the, the items they have are nice, and I think s s at least some of them appear to be totally new. Like, I think the fence, the jingle fence, is new. And uh, the jingle fence is moderately priced. If you want to, like, fill your whole area with jingle fence, it'll be slightly expensive. I think it's one of the ones that cost 50, so it could be worse. But I would have preferred the jingle fence be one of the cheaper ones. Because, like, it makes more sense that you'd want to make lots of duplicates of jingle fence than, you know, the sofa. I guess you can have lots of cake. I'm glad that the presents are cheap, though. But personally, I'm going to avoid making any duplicates until I unlock everything. That's kind of my ethos. That's my only other real tip. Just get one of everything. Because there's rewards for getting one of everything. Like I said, the timed goals. And that's pretty much all there is to know about this so far. Uh, you also get one Sparkle Stone. Sparkle Stones seem very... Kind of concerningly rare. You kind of seem to get just exactly enough if you don't misspend any. And I kind of want to make duplicates of um, the modern tile and modern wall to make my camper look nice. But I'm kind of worried that I'll run out of sparkle stones if I do that, so I don't know. I'll put that Santa hat back on. I feel so naked without the, the, the Santa shirt. Isabel's shirt is generally acceptable, but um, it just feels like I need some Santa-ness in my life. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like the super huge game changer of an event. Um, I would have, for, I was kind of hoping to see some new NPCs and stuff, but maybe we'll get that later. But as far as the very first event, um, it's not too bad, and I'm excited to get all the stuff. Can you eat that? Well, I guess monkeys are like humans, so you can probably. You, you, that's not how you eat. Don't just rub that ice cream on your chin! Is that how monkeys eat things? I don't think that's how monkeys eat things. I don't think this game is scientifically valid. Anyway, that's that's the Animal Crossing um, holiday thing. Like I said, you got, I guess, 25, 26 days to get everything. So, it seems sort of reasonable. Also, yes, of course you can buy them with leaf tickets. There's no in-app purchase. I was kind of surprised. And kind of relieved, but there's no exclusive in-app purchase. Um, if you want to buy leaf tickets to the speed stuff up, I mean you can. I don't recommend it, but yeah, it's just the same stuff that it had before. It freaks me out every time it says purchase like canceled because like I didn't start a purchase. Why are you? What are you? Why are you telling me that? But whatever. Yeah, that is the update. Well, it's not even really an update. Um, but yeah, all the info is also in a written guide on my site. That'll be in the description. Also, if you go to my site, you can opt in to push notifications. And um, I give updates whenever there's like a, a game update like this for one of my guides or something. So if you follow my guides, that can definitely help. So check that out. And thanks for, thanks for watching.